Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a WooCommerce product slider using Elementor loop carousal element. Let me show you an example. This is a demo WooCommerce website. And on this website, I have created product slider using a loop carousal. So this is the product carousal that I have created. And you can see that the products are scrolling automatically. This is set to autoplay. You can fully customize the carousal. You can change the color settings. You can also select the products that you want to show in the carousal. And in order to use the loop carousal feature, you will need Elementor Pro plugin. So this is basically the feature of Elementor Pro plugin. So let's see how we can create a WooCommerce product slider using Elementor loop carousal. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. This is a demo WooCommerce website. And on this website, I'm using Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin. Let me show you the plugin. I'm using Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin. And this demo website is created using Astra theme. This is the home page of the website. And let's say I want to add the WooCommerce product slider on the home page. So let's go to edit with Elementor. Uh, let's say I want to add product slider just below this banner section. So click on the plus sign and add a new section. And in this section, we are going to add loop carousal. Let me add some padding at the top and at the bottom. Click on the plus sign and search for loop. You will see an option here, loop carousal. This is to create the carousal or the slider. So let's drag and drop the loop carousal here. And in the left hand panel, you will see choose template type. Currently it is set to post. Let's change it to products. So we're going to use products. Below that you will see, choose a template. Right now we do not have any template. So we are going to create a new template. So here, click on create template. And it will ask you, would you like to save? Let's click on save. And you will see a, an option to create a template. So click on plus sign and select new section here. All right, so this is going to be a new block which will be used as a template. Click on plus sign and what do you want to add in this template? Let's say I want to add the product title. So I'm going to add product title. It is on H1. Let's make it H4, make it smaller and let's center align it. So this is going to be the product title. Click on plus sign again. And below this, I want to add featured image or the product image. So I'm going to drag and drop the product image here. So you will see the product image. Click on plus sign again. Below that, I want to show product price. So I'm going to drag and drop product price. Click on plus sign again. And below that, I want to add an option. Let's say add to cart. So let's search for cart. You will see an option here, add to cart. Click on it, drag it and drop it just below this. And uh, this is a variable product. So that's why it is asking you to select options. Let's create two columns here. So click on plus sign again and let's use grid. It will be two by one. So two columns and one row. Let's say in this column, I want to add a button. So I'm going to look for a button, drag it and drop it here. And let's name it as a view product. All right, and this add to cart button, we are going to add here. So click on plus sign again, drag and drop add to cart button. And let's delete this one. If I click on this view product, now when someone clicks on it, it should go to the product page. So let's click on dynamic tags here under link section, go to dynamic tags and select post URL. So whenever someone clicks on it, it will open that product page. Now click on plus sign again and let's see what other elements we can add. We have product rating. If you want, you can also add product rating. If there is any rating for the product, it will show the product rating. Let's delete this one, click on plus sign. And let's say you want to add short description of the product. You can add the short description and it will show the product description there. Then we have product stock. It will show the number of products available in stock. Then we have additional information, product meta. If I drag and drop here, you will see the category or the SKU of the product. And then we have product content. So if you want to show the contents in the slider, you can use that one. Right now, let's customize it. Let's select this entire container and we are going to add a box shadow here. So this is how it will look. 
and let's add some padding also let's make it 20 pixel now this is the title select the title and change the color settings let's use another color so this is going to be the color of the title you can also change the font family as well as font size all right so this one looks good this is image select the image if you want to customize the image you can also customize the image let's add some border radius so this is how to look so this is the border radius will that we have product price click on it and change the style settings let's change the color let's use this one uh, this is for the sale price if there is any sale going on it will show the sale price and this is the color for the sale price now let's select this button if you want to customize this button you can customize the button let's change the background color of this button let's use this one or you can use the custom color this is going to be the text color and you can also add border radius and padding let's keep this one as blue so this is how the template will look all right now according to your website requirement you can customize the template now let's click on save and back so this is the template that we have created and this is what we are going to use in a product slider all right now you will see automatically all the products are shown now here add to cart does not look good in a grid layout so i'm going to edit the template again so let's go to edit template we are still customizing the template now here i'm going to take this out from the grid and take this one also out of the grid and delete the grid all right and let's move it below all right so this is going to be add to cart and this is a view product now if you do not want this view product you can simply delete this one and uh, let's say i want to link this title back to the post url so let's select this one go to content and for the link select the dynamic tags and go to post url do the same thing for the image also so if someone clicks on image it will go to that product so select the image go to content for the link select custom url go to dynamic tags and click on post url all right so this is the new template now for this button if you want to customize this button you can simply select it let's make it justified so it will be full width all right now let's click on save and back all right now let's select this entire template and here we are back to layout this is going to be products and this is the template name that we have already created and number of slides will be let's say six so it is going to show six products in a slide if you want to change that number you can change the number let's make it nine products how many slides do you want to display currently it is set to three slides and slides on scroll will be one so it will use one slide to scroll then we have equal height it is enabled let's go to query and which products do you want to show in the slide you can select that from here source is currently set to latest products so it is going to use all the latest products in the slide if you want you can also select the product which are on sale or featured products or you can also select products manually then we have related products upsells and cross sales so i'm going to keep it on latest products then we have include by if you want to show products from a particular category you can use term so in the term i'm going to search for accessories so it is going to show the products only from this category all right then we have order by date so you can set the order by date title price popularity then we have ascending or descending if you go to settings these are the basic settings auto play it is going to play the carousel automatically this is the speed so after every five seconds it is going to scroll to next image pause on hover is enabled if i move the cursor on it it is going to pause this carousel then pause on interaction if someone clicks on it it is going to pause it infinite scroll it is set to yes transition duration is 500 this is the direction left or right and offset slide is both left right then we have navigation arrows is set to yes you will see one arrow here we are going to change the color this is the previous arrow and this is the next arrow 
position is also adjustable then we have pagination dots you will see the dots here all right let's go to style settings under layout you will see the gaps between slide is set to 10 pixel you can change it to let's say 5 pixel navigation these are the settings for the arrows so we're going to change the color of the arrow let's use this one and you will see the change in the color for the arrow for the hover let's use this one so you will see the change here you can also change the size like this and let's go to pagination for the pagination also you can change the color let's use this one and you can change the size also you will see the size here at the bottom here you will see two different colors this is the actual price of the product and this is the sale price so we have a different color for the sale price All right once done you can click on publish let's go to home page and now you will see a product slider here now in future if you want to customize this layout you can go to wordpress dashboard under elementor you will see template go to theme builder and then go to loop item this is the template that we have created let's go to edit and from here you can customize the template in future let's say i want to make it center align so i'm going to select it make it center align let's change the size and let's add margin all right let's click on publish if i go back and refresh it you will see the changes this is now center aligned let's remove the border the box shadow publish it and refresh it and you will see the changes here so if you want to add border you can also add the border you can customize the layout according to your requirement so if you are using Elementor Pro plugin, you can create WooCommerce product slider using the Loop Carousel feature. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.